stay on top of your housework, people, because if you don't, you could end up with an uncontrollable mess like this. I feel like I'm about to be swallowed by all of my stuff. Clutter usually starts as a small mess. There's a lot going on down yeah. here. And it can become overwhelming fast. But you can control your chaos. Oh my God. You just need to know how. Wow. Yeah, okay. talk about transformation. Don't let that happen to you. Here with an expert organizational tips and a preview of the HGTV series Hot Mess House, we have Cassandra Arson and Wendell Holland. Good morning to both of you. Good morning. Hey, um, Good morning. our Good morning. producer said to me, hey, Dan, do you have any pictures you can share of your house, you know, to, to help these? I, I was like, what do you think I live in? I don't live in clutter. But anyway, some people do. And this season, all the episodes of Hot Mess House were filmed in New York and New Jersey. I don't know what that says about our that area. That means we live in clutter. But how did you <laughs> find the homes to go to? Um, we just put a call out for anyone looking for help with clutter problems. And a lot more people than you think are struggling with clutter. I struggled with clutter for the first 30 years of my life. And so I'm just, I can really relate to these families who are so brave to ask for help. I, you know what, before I started to organize, I should have called you because <laughs> I, I don't think I did it that well. Um, so let me ask you, have you ever walked into these homes and went, oh God, mm, I don't know how this. I'm going to do this. Th I, I, give, me, give me some aspirin. <laughs> No, I mean, I, I find it so inspiring. The bigger the mess, the bigger the transformation, right? When, the, like, when we see families who are really struggling with a lot of stuff, it inspires us because we know that it's going to be a dramatic change, not just the way it looks, mm -hmm. but the way that this family is going to function for the rest of their life. So, Wendell, what's the, what do you do? Like, how do you tap? Yeah. What do you, when you go into a place and it's so bad, like some of those images we saw, how do you even know where, where to tackle first? Where do you start? Yeah. yeah. Fortunately, I have an expert declutterer next to me. Casket, Cass like goes in there and she really helps the home, homeowners get rid of things that they don't use or things that have been dated or things that they haven't even looked at in a long time. Um, sometimes I help her with that process and I'm a little easier at doing it because I like will throw a lot of things in the bag and make sure they get out of here. Um, but then I get in there and I start building. I start building the units or the sliding doors, like what we have mm -hmm. behind us. I knock down you walls. Show us? And I, yeah. You the pocket door? Yeah, yeah show us. see a pocket door. Oh, yeah. So here's one. Oh, wow. What? Look how cool it looks. Oh, that doesn't look like your normal door. That is cool. But if you guys can see. <gasps> oh, my wow. gosh. What are you doing? Oh, too much behind there. <laughs> That is awesome. Because I was just about to say, Wendell, for those of us who can head on to Ikea, what would you suggest? But that, you can't buy that in Ikea. So for those no, we of need us a Wendell. on a budget, how can we make magic like that? I think it really starts with knowing your style. Do you like things visual? Do you prefer it to be hidden? So obviously this family is a hidden organizer. And then looking for things that adapt that. If you're a visual person, you need open shelving, you need hooks, you need bins and baskets mm. with big picture labels. So, you know, here's the thing. How do you decide what to keep and what to get rid of, right? Because some people are like, I, I'm going to use that eventually. That's or me. I, I know, won't throw exactly. anything away. Exactly. I mean, you open I Betty's won't. closet and, it's, and, and it falls out on top yes. of you. So how do you decide? Um, I used to say if you haven't used it in the last year, but with things being the way it was, that's not really a good indicator anymore. And now we say, would you buy this again? Is this really worthy of a spot in your home? Because everything you own is something you have to remember, maintain, take care of. And so it's important that you're really only keeping the things that are serving you today. What's the underlying problem for people like me and those who have clutter in their home? Um, is it just that we're, we're messy or we're hoarders and we messy. can't throw things away? You're messy. No, I think being messy is a myth. Honestly, I think you I've probably... Kids, though, not a myth excuse. right here, let me tell you. <laughs> I think you probably organize differently. And if you've tried and failed, then you feel like, oh, I'm just a naturally messy person. Right. And you kind of give up trying. And so we're hoping that this show, Hot Mess House, inspires people that you're not messy. You organize differently. And we're yeah. here to show you how you can make it work for you and you know, your family. And Wendell, you know, I, I, I'm a recent homeowner now. I just bought one. And, and I noticed that a lot of houses, they, for some reason, like forgot to build closets, right? <laughs> so when you don't have that kind of space, that's when you, that's when a Wendell comes in and, like, and you kind of create like what we just saw behind you. What is your advice then for folks who say, I don't have a closet space? You just 
for, for us, we just look for different areas or nooks or whatnot. Like if I could show you every, everywhere in here, you'll see a wall like this that has like more doors or under yeah. the staircase or anything like that. We can do it. We can do built-ins or you can like look vertically. Maybe you have a taller ceiling and maybe you could do some storage higher up. There are solutions like that. It's a lot, a lot to consider, but, um, or under a bed or something like yeah. that. But mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of places don't have, a lot of new homes don't have the closet space. So or then you, you open the creative. closet and you got like the air conditioning ducts in there, right? So it's right. like, well, there goes some of the storage because mm -hmm. we just shoved in some air conditioning ducts. You know, I think a problem with a lot of folks, they, they won't get to this point because in their mind, it's going to take forever. So how long does a project like this take and, and how quickly can you get it done if someone's trying to do it on a DIY budget? I think the most important thing is to declutter and that's free. That doesn't cost you yeah. anything at all. And you saw these mountains of stuff in these people's homes right. and we had them cleared out in one day. What? Really? One day. But the key is just to it's throw it all in the middle. And some muscle. Miracle workers here. But is that the key though? You just throw it all in the middle of the floor and then start sorting through it? That's exactly it. You pick something up and you trust your first instinct. Mm -hmm. And if you're if you're questioning yourself, I don't know if I need this. Toss it. You don't. Got it. If it isn't a hard yes, I'm keeping this. It's a hard no. It has to go. Now, okay. And so other you things, yeah, go ahead, Wendell. I was just gonna say other things can be preserved with photos. Like mm -hmm. yeah. you don't need to you yeah. don't need to hold on to everything if you have like that memory via photo. Right. Now That's so true. you said you picked all the houses in New York and New Jersey. Are you guys local? I'm actually from Canada. Oh, okay. And, and Wendell? I'm from Philadelphia, so I'm, my commute isn't too terrible. Okay, Wendell, that's a quick train ride to where I live, so we'll be talking afterwards, okay? <laughs> we need your yeah. help. I need those pocket doors. All right, we'll talk. <laughs> All right, Cassandra and Wendell, great chatting with you both. Congrats on the show. Yeah. Check them out as they transform homes right here in our area tonight on Hot Mess House on HGTV. Thank you, guys. Thanks. Thanks.